thank everybody for this opportunity to be here and speak tonight, share my story. You know, maternity is a family issue, so it baffles me on how partisan it has become. I have two beautiful boys, Jasper's almost five and Remy is a year and a half, but their pregnancies were completely different. Before the ACA, pregnancy was considered a pre-existing condition. With the ACA, it's not, and that has made a huge difference. My husband and I purchased supplemental maternity coverage uh, after we got married in, in uh, August of 2010. Because we were both self-employed, we had always had to buy individual health care plans. In the summer of 2011, we were excited to learn we were pregnant with our first child. But as I began my prenatal visits, I was told by my OBGYN that I would have to pay out of pocket because the maternity coverage didn't take effect until 18 months after you purchase it. <laughs> As Jasper's due date approached, and after hours and hours arguing with the insurance companies, it became clear that they were not going to cover his birth. The hospital told me that the birth can run anywhere from $2,000 to $25,000. <laughs> the anesthesiologist refused to give an estimate, and while my OBGYN took a retainer, she also refused to give an estimate. The most maddening conversation I had was with the insurance company. They told me that should I have to have an emergency C-section, it would only be covered if my life was in danger, not if my baby's life was in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the bits of information I could gather, we would be responsible for $40,000 if I have, had to have a C-section. And C-sections are one in three births nowadays. I obviously felt cheated. We purchased maternity coverage well before we ever got pregnant. And we had tried to play by the system's rules, and the system still failed us. But for the grace of God, Jasper was 10 days late. And within those 10 days, the 18 months was up, and the maternity kicked in. <laughs> This obviously saved my family a fortune. Okay, let's fast forward to the fall of 2014 when we were discovered we were pregnant with our second child. Thanks to the ACA, all of my prenatal visits were covered. We didn't have to spend hours on the phone with the insurance companies, and we didn't have to stress about finances. We just got to enjoy our new baby. <laughs> Now, some people think that women should be financially responsible for having babies, but those men may have forgotten that we certainly don't make them without help. <laughs> Thank you, and huge thanks to the Affordable Care Act. 